Hello, drawing. So the next assignment that you will have to be doing for this week are your gesture drawings. So in the previous week, we did blind contour and modified blind contour drawings. And uh, I hope that that gave you a good um, kind of shift in mindset um, where it kind of made you feel like, okay, well, I get it now. I'm looking, I'm actually looking at what I'm drawing and not just drawing about, you know, something I think I know. Um, so uh, for this week, whoops, for this week, we're going to do blind contour. I'm sorry, we're going to do gesture drawings. And the reason gesture drawings are um, a lot of times used as a way to warm up when you are doing the figure um it's it's you're, when you do a gesture drawing you're, you're drawing very very lightly and it's kind of it's kind of the opposite of a con a blind contour line drawing because you're moving pretty quickly and you're you're lifting your pencil a lot and you're essentially just capturing the energy the movement the most basic structure of the pose or the form of what you see which is why a lot of times when you think of just or like when somebody says gesture drawing it, it, it people will say oh yeah we did gesture drawings to start off when we were drawing the figure because it's used they're used a lot when you do they're used as a warm-up when you're doing figure drawings but they are used basically for every drawing that you do or they should be used for every drawing that you do when you're first blocking in a drawing so um here's an example of what this might look like um you know i found this image i i the sourcing is not uh it's i don't know it's the source is a little bit I think it's a little shady, but I think this is a, a Giacometti drawing in ballpoint pen of this statue. Um, in any case, if it is not a Giacometti drawing, um, it's still a pretty phenomenal dr gestural drawing of this um, statue here. So this is what is meant by um, somebody doing a gesture drawing. You know, you can start off by doing a line, a light gesture drawing. This is another Giacometti drawing that I actually got from from JSTOR, so I know that this is actually uh, his work. But if you look at these lines, they're very, very light. They're they're fluid. They, um, you know, look like they're flowing. There's a lot of movement going on, and there is a lot of room. Sorry, I'm just okay. There's a lot of room. There's a lot of room for imp uh adjustment um they're non-committal they're um they're you know speculative i almost want to say it's kind of like when you're looking at something and you're like mm, okay well do i think that's i think that's what's happening here but i'm gonna just be really careful and draw lightly because I'm going to come back and, and adjust this. Let me just get the whole entire composition in first, and then I'm going to come back and adjust and adjust my lines um, as I as I start to as the drawing starts to firm up. So um, let's look at this drawing really quickly. So this is kind of what um, when when you're doing a drawing, when you're doing a full composition, you want to start off with really, really, really light lines and sorry you want to you want to work on the entire composition you don't just want to like focus in on one object at a time you want to kind of take a, a a big swoop over the entire composition and then do it again and then do it again and then do it again and let the layers kind of build up that way um instead of uh, you know what people love to do is they love the, they love to focus in on this one object they draw the object they put all the details in they make it really look really amazing and then they have the rest of the page that they have to deal with and what happens is that if you like if we zoom in here and look this is as much as i can zoom in i'm sorry here there is um you can see that this person has adjusted the placement of this toolbox one, two, three, um, 
it's it took this person three or four times to, you know, figure out where that toolbox was going to be before they actually committed and said, okay, well, I kind of want it here. And even if you look at this drawing from this section to this section or this thumbnail to this thumbnail, it's different yet again. So what I want you to do is not focus on one little thing, but focus on the whole entire page. And you should be using a really, really light grip um, on your pencil for this um and understand that you know we we are going to get contour line drawings um i think it's in the next section but um if you look at a contour line drawing so these are contour line drawings you can see i i did these for another class but you can see that i first started out with very gestural like i can't even i can't get closer to this oh wait hold on a second I started out with these very gestural lines underneath and then I kind of went back in there and I experimented with the lines, the weight of the lines, the thickness of lines and the mark making, which we'll get to in, in, contour, in the contour line section. So what I want you guys to do um, is do gesture drawings for this assignment. So these are gesture, gestural drawings. Um, it's just quick, light lines. Don't commit, you know, start off light lightly with your pencil and um get you know get a little bit closer um do, do it layer by layer don't do it object by object do it layer by layer so let's see what what else can i explain to you here um let's see so here are the objectives read the lesson plan and you're going to do this on good paper you're going to use a 6b pencil um you can also use a sharpie um if you want i i think a 6b pencil is the best uh, try to avoid erasing um you know draw lightly enough that you can let some of those marks accumulate and build up on your page just like you see in this example here um you can use objects um hold on a second let's see something um, you want to, and, and, and I have to say, guys, for this draw, for this assignment, you really want to be standing. You don't want to be sitting for this because this is going to require you to like, uh, really, really capture what you're seeing, um, like the energy and the movement of what you're seeing. And it's very hard to do that when you're sitting down, you just don't have your, your entire body, um, as an extension of your, your media. So, um, before you do this, you're going to do six. I can never, yeah, you're doing six. You're going to set up your page just like this three times. I don't really care if you do them portrait or, or, um, what is it called? Um, landscape it doesn't really matter. I just want you to do six drawings. So you can really draw whatever you want. I would pick objects that are complex enough. Don't just like do a pencil. You know what I mean? Like that, that's poor effort. And you're not going to really get anything from that. So in the examples that I have here, um, um, I, this person has done hands or I've found examples and I've done hands. This is a gesture drawing. It's like loose and scribbly lines. This is also a gesture drawing. These are more, um, straight and, and rigid lines. Um, but both are gesture drawings because you can see that both drawings are light. You can see like right here, they're trying to capture that like tension, the, you know, of where the fingers meet the inside of the hand here. It's kind of like the shape and the, the kind of like curviness of the hand, um, here it's kind of like the, um, you know, there, when, if we, zoom in they're already kind of moving into contour areas because they're kind of doing these like contour lines where they're explaining that the fingers are in ellipses um but it's still gestural because these lines are not they're not uh definitive yet right this drawing here is also this of the jug on top of the box this is also a gesture drawing but they're also this is like much later into the process of drawing where you're like starting to um, commit to your lines and you're going a little darker but you can see that underneath all those lines there's this kind of like searching for the truth right what is the truth what is the truth of this this jug on top of the box um okay so here are some other ones these are two plants this is a gesture drawing i would also cons this is quite um you know a progress like this drawing has obviously progressed but underneath these really um you know beautiful um and kind of you know uh, 
resolved contour lines, you see these gestural light gestural marks of this kind of like working up of the um, of the plant. Right. So um, that's what I want you guys to keep in mind for um, when for these these drawings, you want to stay loose, you want to stand up, you want to do like 20 jumping jacks or something before you do the drawings, loosen up your arms, shake out your arms and really, um, you know, look for the energy of of your um, of your subject and um stay loose really stay loose stay loose and non do not commit to your lines like they should be very very light um they should all look very light and fluid like this um okay so written section as usual here's the example that's the file that's open and the rubric as usual um the principles of the lesson um is is basically everything written in here so um is there anything else no and don't forget i would post your images early so you get good feedback um that's it if you guys have questions send me an email and if not i'll see you on canvas